It's been my honor and my privilege. Hello. Warning, these video contain major spoilers for SWAT. Season 7, Episode 7, Last Call. SWAT. Kenny Johnson on his emotional farewell and moment that made his mom mad. The good news, Luca is alive, despite taking a bullet to the chest. The bad news, his days with SWAT are over. In Johnson's final episode of SWAT, Luca learns that, due to permanent nerve damage, his hand and arm will never move the same again. SWAT has been his whole life, and a supervisory role is just not for him. And so he retires, having had a heartfelt conversation with Hondo on the beach before calling the end of his watch. Below, Johnson opens up about Luca's ending and filming those emotional last scenes for his character. Luca has to deal with the fact that he can't return to SWAT. Kenny Johnson, that's a tough pill to swallow. I can't do a desk job. Luca has a hard time emotionally wrapping around the fact that he can't go out and be the best that he can at what he does. He was born into SWAT. That's all he's ever known. His whole heart and conscience, I would say, are about giving, saving, and protecting. And he wants to be out there actively doing it. Whether he gives his life up for it or not, it's something that he does selflessly, I think. I can't do this, so I'm going to do something else. And then Hondo was trying to say, No, you can go out there and meet somebody new. You can surf the biggest waves. And I'm thinking, oh yeah, okay, that's going to parallel SWAT at this point in my life. I'm laughing now, but for Luca, it's not funny. All I know is that it's being taken away, and I have to accept it. Then there was that last scene, saying goodbye to Luca. It was, for me, emotional. We've been together for seven years now, and we all started together, and you obviously build trust and a bond, and it's not like we're doing 13 episodes. We do 22 episodes a year normally, and so there's so much time together, and we all love each other. We genuinely love each other, which is great. We work out together, eat together, sit together, and perform the scenes together. So when I would look out into Jay Harrington's eyes, Anna's eyes, or David Lim's eyes, they were all teary-eyed because it's a personal bond we've earned together. There's real, true love and connection there. So I just let that dictate the scene because I knew what the scene was, and I knew I was going. But for me personally, I'm going, and I'm saying goodbye to these guys. It was emotional. It was hard, especially saying the very last words. Then, when they entered the stage, I thought, I cherish love, and while I'm saying farewell, there is love in that. So it was full of a lot of mixed feelings, I think. When a show has to end or your character has to leave when I did The Shield, at the end of season 5, they killed me off, and it was the beginning of the end for the show, and they needed to do that in order to make it kind of unravel for Sean Ryan to end The Shield. It was crushing for my heart because they were my best friends, and we always thought we were going to go through to the end together, but it was shattering. But I thought, it's all for a reason, for the greater good of the show. At least for The Shield, it was what needed to happen in order for Sean to end the series in seven seasons. But it was really hard. And I think for this, it's the same thing. He's trying to wrap his head around it, and at the same time, it's all happening so fast that it's emotionally just a matter of mind because it's life-changing. You don't really have time to understand how to accept it and be like, oh, I'll just give in to everything and it'll be okay. But he's got to do that in a very short amount of time.